Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Awkward. Reaper scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. Mm. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. I don't know, I feel like I'm a specter who's trying to save the world. Nothing should be classified for me at this point. Like, do you want the world to, to die? Like, the whole universe to die? If not, tell me what you're up to. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. The Solarian Dalachas worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. Damn! We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. That's a fair point. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. I love how he's like, I can't talk in front of him. You, you, you do know he has ears, right? Like, okay. <laughs> Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral <laughs> support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. Are the Rachni on our side, though? My best unit on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. I mean, I, I saved the queen. So shouldn't they be our friends? <laughs> um, let's start with the Rachni, and then I don't know if... I think I asked these, but I'm gonna double check. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. Maybe they're indoctrinated. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. Or they're coming out because they're trying to ask for help or saying that they want to help. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time we'll be different. Hell yes, Rex. Okay, definitely didn't ask that. 
A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the Genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. <laughs> our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <sighs> then talk about it some more. No offense. <laughs> Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. <laughs> so sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. So that's how you got the scar. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Just kidding. Anytime. Thought that would have been funny. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <gasps> <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I missed this place. We missed you too. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Who am I to argue if I need to need to provide some DNA? <laughs> into a tube. <laughs> Commander, that was a skillful operation back on Sir Kesh, extracting the female Krogan. I had help. Warden Solis knew what he was doing. Yes, Garrus mentioned the Doctor was on your mission through the Omega-4 relay. I'm surprised a Solarian cares about the Krogan. War is full of surprises. <laughs> Rarely the good kind. I'm just happy this one played to our advantage. Um, I just want to, I know I've already asked these before, but I want to make sure that the dialogue is the same. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't... If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. That was slightly different, I think. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan. Yep. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. That part was new, though. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. Maybe it wasn't. That line wasn't I'm not yet. surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. I you can't remember. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the- Definitely heard that. Seen the same on Earth. Definitely heard that. The strategist in me admires their brutality. My civilization. The Krogan will make sure that doesn't happen. Assuming you're successful with the cure. We will be. You have to be, Commander. I don't want to go down as history's last Primarch. To be fair, if that were to happen, there probably wouldn't be anybody to learn about that history afterwards That's anyways. All. <laughs> of course, Commander. I guess maybe someone like Liara, maybe. But, uh... It's kind of a morbid silver lining way to look at it. If you need one. Do you think Solarians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Solarians might as well have been throwing rocks. Those two are always gossiping. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. 
I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Omega, it's time. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project I mentioned when we spoke in Purgatory. Come to Dock 42 on the Citadel. A Batarian named Bray will be waiting. I was just there! Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara is with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. <laughs> I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there, Farron. Feeling much better. Hey, Shepard, still in the hospital, but I'm up on my feet, eating solid food and making trouble for the nurses. They'll probably throw me out of here soon. Come by if you're on the Citadel, same room. Holding the line. <sighs> Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sir Kesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. ANN alert. New article on indoctrination. From the Alliance News Network Information Partners. Thessia, a sorry scientist, Rana Thanoptis, has died in custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said... Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head, which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top secret project for former Spectre Saren Artarius several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. Thanoptis was believed responsible for the planting, for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at a research center, killing five visiting Asari military officials along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are not seeking more suspects in the case. Was this the one that I let go? Last game? Whoops. Oh well, she helped with the Reaper tech. and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... Now that's about it. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? Mm? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. That bottom option was their cannon fodder. Who the fuck would say that? Commander. It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. Uh-oh. You and everyone else. Morden sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right there. Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. 
Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. Mm? Listen, we like that she's trying to make jokes. Hello, Shepard. This is a good thing. It's weird having that not be a door anymore. Sorry, yawn break. I gotta check on my fish! <gasps> There's my clay fish. But didn't I get a new ship too? Ooh. Ooh, it spins! Sandwich? How are ya? Nobody's in the bathroom. I don't think anybody's here. I always walk in here and nobody's here. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee, how many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Go, oh, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Hello, Commander. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just thought I was getting in his way. I'll return when I need it. Commander. The ship definitely feels, like, more alive in this game. They did a better job at, like, actually making... I don't know. I don't even know why it feels that way. It just does. I think because when you walk by, you can just, like, hear the side conversations, but they're different every time you walk by. Or the fact that people are in different spots. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive. Almost like croaking. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. <laughs> ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. Rex! This one is different. We love Dizzy. Morden here. What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand? But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority, will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. <laughs> Common phobia. Fear of needles. Oh. Or I like Solarian okay. doctors. Now have work to do. I thought he was making a... Prefer females of the species. Joke. Never mind. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. 
Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. He's learning. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. Hmm. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best <laughs> thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. Oh, shit. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. <laughs> that, you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the Genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days. Before, we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. 
Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How's Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. <laughs> Deal. Girl power! Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. <clears throat> her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. I'm on his side in this one. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy, lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. He's probably gonna crawl back out at some point. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated, likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket, something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. <laughs> her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being... Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. 
Not many years left, but still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right, to prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. I was gonna say, he would definitely be running some science experiment on said seashells. <laughs> There's no way he could just relax and retire. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. I was gonna Though say. I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I was gonna say, are you interested? That sounds like you're interested. I've never interested. actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. That's good to see nice. Morton still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Another time, maybe. Oh, okay, shit. I should go. So, Lyra, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. I thought... Didn't I get an email saying that there was... Okay. Parthian notes 2186 entry 3. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. I mean, duh. <laughs> I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? It's probably a very difficult pill for her to swallow. Email from Pro Professor Takesha to Dr. Oduwal. I was calling every supply depot stationed around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the crucible's primary trigger inlay we barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker an hour later a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum courtesy of the shadow broker then it flew away to scavenge oops sorry <laughs> then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project the ship's captain emailed me later saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs that's great but i'm checking my computer for bugs <laughs> Call between Kasumi Goto and Professor Olausen. Kasumi. Hi, Professor. You know that one-of-a-kind point-to-point comm server you were talking about the other day? I'm just going to call them Professor O. Do you have any information on its whereabouts? Kasumi. I've got something better. Check your front door. Professor O. I... But this server's locked in a Cerberus facility. Kasumi. Not anymore. Professor O. This will be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. Kasumi, you're the brilliant astrophysicist, astrophysicist, Professor. I'm just a tech expert doing some hot jobs. By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus <laughs> leaves just lying around in the open. Shepard, I know you've gone back to Thane. Liara, I... Be with whoever you want to be with. I'm just not interested in playing games anymore. Really, I don't believe either of us has the time. I've got quite a bit to coordinate with my agents. If you want to talk, it has to be later. Liara, he was dying! I had to say goodbye! I'm occupied, Shepard. You cannot be pissed at me right now! 
It was just a goodbye kiss. He's literally on his deathbed. Girl, please. A pleasure to see you. Oh, Glyph, now you want to talk? You don't. Okay, fine. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved. But only if he could defeat me in combat first. <laughs> His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. This server, oh, a Rex fuck. Krogan, offered me a job. Sorry. He said whenever I tired of the easy life of luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. Yes? Can you call Liara and tell her I'm mad? So, <gasps> Abby, have you seen Edie's new body? Ah, oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. <laughs> you pretty much are, Kenneth. Commander, <laughs> thank you. It's great to be back. It feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Commander. I miss those two. Oh God, the commander did pretty first. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion. I fuck. Please, you don't like it? Don't download it. You're saying we don't. The reality is we can't save everybody. It's a harsh reality, but it is the reality. So if what she's saying is that letting that one fall could make it so that we could potentially save five other planets, that makes sense. But I also get why he's pissed because that's not an easy pill to swallow and also it is kind of a very callous way to say that. Terra Nova. Stand down, Yeoman. She's allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. I don't know if that was the right thing or not, but, you know. Commander. I don't think I'll ever know if those are the right answers that I'm giving. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. Trying to steal the women. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. He is a badass. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? I hear it. Do you hear that hum? Oh. Is that just me? Okay. Well, we're about to do some scanny scanny. With collectors around. Er, Reapers. This might be my first moment of uh, trying to run. Okay, so it's nice that they only have, it seems like they only have the percentage if there's actually something for you to find, like, with a scan.
I don't like that I can't see where I need to go. Oh god, this is scary. Do I have to land on this or do I scan it? I found it? something. Dude, that's like really high already. Um, a large rock planet, Vanna is covered in prodigious amounts of dry ice, leaving only thin traces of gaseous atmosphere. Uranium deposits drew Batarian miners to Vanna long ago, and when that was exhausted, they moved on to its magnesium. The Reapers have exterminated the colony here, punching holes in the domed cities and leaving its occupants to asphyxiate. They're just so charming. I like that we don't have to buy probes anymore. All right, we got them. 50%. Oh, they're coming to get me. Oh, they're here, they're here. Successful. Fuck yeah. Um, I want to. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I want to finish exploring that though. Oh god, that was too close for comfort. There isn't a fuel depot here. For real? Signal confirmed. Metaponto. <laughs> um, the hydrogen helium gas giant Metaponto has developed a helium-3 fueling station funded by Elcor business interests who hope to bring enough attention to the system to attract terraforming investors and thus eventually develop Volturno as a habitable world. Thus far, they have met with little success. Is that what we needed? Well, we're at 100%. Okay, but that didn't have any percentage and now it has 100, so... <laughs> Maybe they all do have scanning. I think... 14%. Well, I guess it does save then, but... Is here though. I found something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The planet's moons are named after his many recognized wives. The largest Vera. Guess it's just at the beginning, huh? <laughs> Baruch is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an ancient Batarian monarch whose empire spanned continents. He had such a penchant for mating that. I like this reference. <laughs> that 0.6% of modern Batarians claim to trace their lineage to him. The historian in me is happy with this reference. The planet's moons are named after his many recognized wives. The largest, Vera, concealed Prothean ruins that helped the Batarians develop FTL travel. It is a Batarian point of pride that since the ruins were damaged by earthquakes, they had less information to go on than other spacefaring species. The Reapers have destroyed all obvious military outposts in Varish's orbit. The Batarians' notorious secrecy, however, may have allowed concealed subterranean facilities on Varish's moon to survive. Weapon upgrade kit. That's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. A wreckage, the wreckage of a fuel depot. 
recover 300 units of fuel. Shit. Neither of those are what I needed. Oh, oh that's so scary! Can they get me if I'm in the planet? I guess we're about to find out. Karshan, the Batarian homeworld, is wrapped less in mystery than in outright lies. Batarian propaganda claims the world has 15 billion inhabitants in an economy that rivals the Asari. Although the legal slave trade does boast the Batarian's profits somewhat, boosts the Batarian's profits somewhat, Citadel sanctions have left a paper tiger of an empire, one that fights rivals through deniable terrorist actions rather than the wars of its heyday centuries ago. The Reapers will likely be on will likely be the death blow to that empire. Almost no information has escaped Karshan since the Reapers destroyed the Kambuis, but Batarian refugees say that resistance has created a bond among the commoners. If a new government can rise from the ashes, that bond may sustain a new Batarian society. It's gonna be super awkward if they're just like, you know, ready to kill me as soon as I leave this planet. Yeah, we got it. Are we ready to run? Oh, they're coming to get me. Looted. They're coming to get me. Oh. The last one I check, of course. <laughs> That's always the way. was freaking lucky. I don't want to see how close they are. They're going to be here again. A hospitable world home to dextro amino acid based life. This Turian colony was famous until recently for being the site of the bloodiest battle in Turian history. During the Krogan rebellions, a warlord named Graken Dahl took the fight to Palavin's home cluster, bombarding the modestly defended Dejeris. When reinforcements came to intercept him, Dahl's navy put their rear to Digeris so that stray shots would hit the planet. The Turians won despite the severe handicap, using countless fighters and cruisers to take down the Krogan dreadnoughts. Today, the Turian fleet holds Digeris in a stalemate. The Reapers, concentrating on Palavin and elsewhere, sent a relatively light force to take the planet, which the Turians repelled. The Turians stand guard at Tajeris while the Reapers travel throughout the system, destroying targets of opportunity until reinforcements arrive. Nice. All right, we're gonna go to the Alliance docks. We're gonna turn in all You're of these. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Mm. I need a 
cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. That is really nice. Okay, let's just see where I need to turn these into. So... To the scientists on the side. Let's just look at the map. Okay, so we can do this guy over here. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. You said he'd been distant and that the war made everything clearer. That things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Really? Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? A fresh spreadable alternative. Driving Sorley's Chloe Gamarjorin. Made from free-range organic marin. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the military and war efforts. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. All right. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Centurion War efforts. Commander Shepard. I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He You're wanted welcome. you to know. Sounds like it came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Okay, so that means the Blue Suns one is done. Guess I should try to talk to Liara. <laughs> I don't want to have this conversation. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. It's good to be off ship for a while. Hello again. Hello, Shepard. What the fuck? <sighs> Commander Shepard. It's been some time. It has indeed. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. I haven't. Financial advisor and an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper controlled territory. Rescue the guards. And they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I know. <laughs> I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. All right, so all of this is that's Krogan. So is that Tatranka? Like over there? It's all probably in the same area. sells weapons, armor, and funeral services. If you can arm them and bury them, you never have to fly a coach. Isn't that a saying? I don't think so. Well, it should be. It sounds very painful for him to breathe. 
Um, I don't know where this person is that I need to give this to. <laughs> I don't want Araka. Show me somebody else. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it. You humans think you had it rough. You know what happened on Karshan? My apologies. I thought this was your homeworld. Stop! Just stop! I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours. Waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk. These are two different things. You're important to me, but I... It's not healthy to rush from one relationship to another. Well, I need to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits. And that includes my apartment. Okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. I thought I had. And I cherish the time we've had together. But... Yeah. Interesting. That has turned a lot. Alright guys, I am going to stop there. I know I could have talked to Caden then too, I kind of forgot about that until just a second. So, <laughs> I will, um... I mean, I will be back in the Citadel because I have other side missions I have to complete and stuff for it. So I will be back when I do. I'll make sure to talk to Caden and um, talk to Arya again and all that stuff. I'm not sure what I'll do next video, but I think I'm going to probably do some main missions. I'm thinking like the ones in Tuchanka maybe or in the Tuchanka area because there's a lot over there now. So I think it might be sense or make sense for me to go over there and do a couple of those since they're all kind of in the same area. But we'll see. Uh, I'm not sure if that one Barlin Vaughn is time sensitive. That would be the only one I'm worried about because he kind of like made a comment like, hurry, the Reapers are closing in or something like that. So that made me a little bit nervous, but that is in the Tuchanka area or not Tuchanka, but the, the Krogan area. So I'm assuming over by Tuchanka. So again, I think it might make sense for me to go over there and kind of do those all in one or two sittings um, and then go from there. But like I said, I'm not quite sure. We'll see how I feel when I record again. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun with this. It is, I'm glad that you guys enjoy the, me talking to all the people on the ship because, you know, it, it takes a lot of time. So it's also nice to have like those little side scanning exploration things to do because since it takes over like half a video typically to talk to everybody on the ship, especially when there's a lot of new people on the ship and exhaust their dialogue. At that point, I always have like an awkward amount of time left. So it was nice to have like I hate using the phrase filler. I feel like people use filler a lot in games and I don't necessarily agree with it. Um, but for lack of a better term, filler kind of scanning missions um, because they still do add to the story and they do add to, like they are still important um, with the whole war assets thing and just kind of fleshing out the lore too even. so. It's nice that they sprinkled those in there as well so that you kind of just like the, the universe building. But for a recording standpoint, it's nice to have that as um, like filler for the video. So because otherwise it's like, OK, it's either going to be a two hour video or a 45 minute video. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of nice how that worked out. And I'm sure I will have much more of these style of videos again throughout. Um, so if I didn't do something, don't worry. I will. I promise. I promise. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. It's nice seeing all of a bunch of our old friends on the ship. It's nice to learn more about the Krogan because we really don't know a ton about them. Like we, we've been learning about the Genophage for the past two games, but we don't necessarily know a ton about their culture. We learned a little bit more last game, but I feel like this game they're really diving into who are the Krogan, what are the Krogan, what does our culture look like? Uh, and that's really exciting to me. And I can't wait to actually go to that area again and see what else we can explore there. Because we went to Tachanka and ME2 um, 
but I'll be curious to see like what's different or what more we can see or what more we can do uh, and see what we're going to do about this Jenna page. <laughs> Hopefully we can cure it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to double check that you're actually subscribed because of those issues that YouTube has been having. Also, feel free to hit that bell button. That way you know when I post future videos. And as always, I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have an amazing day.